Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and no, I'm not dead, I'll explain why I've not posted since last Thursday, at the end of the video. Today, we're going to be going over Season 6, Episode 3 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so let's jump right into it. So we start off with, uh, Simmons is basically on an Earth section, He's not, she's not on the White House, she's on the actual Earth, which is of course broken apart, seemingly because of... Daisy. And then, um, basically, um, we have someone called Sinaro on the ship. And, I mean, on the ship. <laughs> on the Earth, um, quadrant. And we also have a guest staying on the ship. And basically, the Kree guy, I think that's his name, Sinaro, needs her help. And then we cut to where the team is um, working on trying to get Gemma back. And then Colson uh, team gets uh, punished by the nasty um, guy in charge of them. Like a really mean boss fight. I just, this whole scenario is so flipping weird, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, um, and then we cut to our guy explains so multiverse theory to Daisy. I think his name is Zeke. I, it's going to take me a minute to get used to these names. And so, um, she slaps and said, what multiverse is that in? Which I kind of love that comeback. Because Daisy wants to, wants to basically risk everything to get Gemma back. So we cut to a girl who gets, um, most of the team to try to go and find Gemma on the Earth. So that's where they're going. And then Gemma talks to a girl slash Abby, and she has to do a ceremony about her and human powers. And needs her help because she can't focus it. And so then uh, the guy interrupts um, the team and, and basically joins them and wants to call them out. Then go back to Gemma talking to a girl, to Abby, and it turns out she has a blocker on her side of her ear that blocks her powers. So uh, it's, it's helping control it. So that's why I think she, I, personally that's why I think she's having an issue with it, but that's just my opinion. And then um, we have May and Phil talk on the, on the plane, and she vents her frustrations. She's like, I just want to lay in my bed. I've been in a framework for weeks. I'm tired, and all of a sudden I get jumped onto this mess in the future. I want to sleep, damn it. And so, uh, she's very frustrated. So then Yo-Yo gets, um, stuff to Daisy. And then we have, um, Virgil, um, hit something in the world, which was the tiny little, um, uh, world that he had. And then, um, he was talking to someone, because it's like a transmitter type thing, so he was talking to someone in space, like, close to the Earth. And then we have, um... Uh, and then the guy that avoided himself on the ship uh, bust them. So um, May rests them up with the um, with the with the aircraft, and basically, um, since the guy busted them, he put, uh, pressed that button so they all can't do anything. So May just kind of knocks them around, then Matt knocks them out. And then we cut to where Gemma is helping Abby and. The Kree guy interrupts, and then we have Zeke questions Daisy, and then we cut to where the girl suggests to kill the guy on the ship with the team, but um, they say, no, we're not doing that. Then Colson gets a signal, and then um, then we cut to the origin from, uh, the origin originates from Earth, which is weird because it's it's like, how is that ha possible? Then we have someone called Basha Intra. Um, it's like a white Cree lady. She basically looks human to me. That's how I'm going to take it. I mean, they say she's a white Cree, which I think is like, uh, this be a step below regular Cree. I don't know how that works. So then we cut to where the ceremony, ceremony is happening. And then it's Abby, a little 18 year old little girl, versus a big ass. Warrior dude. <laughs> and um, then we cut to where Daisy, uh, Daisy gets into a botany place. Then we cut to um, Abby versus Warrior. And of course, it's not going well for Abby. Obviously. 
But uh, she does turn around and basically her powers is, I forgot to explain it earlier, she can uh, change the density in her um, in her body to go through walls or to, it's like Shadow Cat from X-Men, basically, and or she can turn to lead and make it like her in, like invincible. So she's not doing good, but then she turns it around and then um, kills the guy. And then... Um, then we cut to the guy on the ship that stood away, well, invited himself, uh, cut the fuel line so they had to get back. And so then, um, turns out the Cree guy, uh, sold Abby to the white Cree lady. So now she's on like a, a warrior's journey through different earths, which is crazy cuckoo pants. But yeah. And then, um, Daisy, um, got into the elevator leaving trying to leave the botany place and trying to go up and it was so funny because like the two creepy people were trying to get into the elevator the first one got in she got up to the um the top it was doing that you know that spider thing just trying to hang on then another guy comes on then she slips then she knocks him out and had a epic fight scene that was so cool like she the way she was like going up the wall and everything and just everything about that was amazing i love that fight scene to death and then, then the guy mocks the team in front of everyone because uh, they get back to the team gets back to the lighthouse. So the the um, the the boss man he's not happy with them. And so basically, what Yo Yo did, she frames the guy that went on the ship with them. And then Daisy, then Daisy is getting got to the upper level. Then she gets trapped and gets gas. Turns out Virgil Virgil sold her out. And then um, the queen's like, oh, this. Then you know he's trying to save his ass and you know bust her and he's gonna have a, fair, a good payday. And then uh, we cut to her scene out of the out of the season five tr um, finale. Where he's like, let's get to work. And basically, um, they're trying to get the transmission to work. And it starts to work. Oh, and then um, that girl that's with them, that's trying to help them out. What um, what we saw at the very end was um, people that are betrayed or are very bad. They get sent to Earth and they get killed by the roaches. So, we don't know what's on the Earth. So, I'm, very, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen. And so further along. So um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. And I'll give this a I'll give this an A plus just because I love the fight scenes and I love the dynamics. And it took me forever to figure out who that girl was um, that went through Terror Genesis Abbey. It's, it's that little girl from Bedtime Rush. <laughs> took me a second I was like that girl looks so familiar. It was very aggravating. Cause I used to watch it when I was um used to um, hang out with my little cousin. So I was like, okay. So I knew she looked familiar. Anyway, I thought it was a great episode. You get a great character development. And and then just see Gemma just get so furious at the Creed guy, which I didn't mention. But I thought it was a really good scene as well. And the way he just shuts her down because he put that ear, um, thing, that ear thingy in her to make her shut up and she can't hear anything, but she still gets very mad. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for that um, episode. So like I said, I really enjoyed it. A plus. I really liked it. And so let's discuss why I have not posted since Thursday. Um, Thursday, I was in a little bit of pain in my knee and um, I just barely managed to do the error video. So, um, I fell asleep, then I woke up Friday at 1 in the morning in excruciating pain, um, so, um, I tried to go back to sleep, it didn't work, and then I tried a bunch of different stuff, and I still was, like, off and on in sleep, and Friday morning, around 8 o'clock, uh, my knee was swollen so bad on the inside, like, the inside of your knee, and then the outside of your knee. It was swollen so bad. I couldn't bend it. I couldn't put any weight on it. I was done. I couldn't sit in a chair until Sunday. 
Well, not Sunday. What's today? Today, I'm putting this video out today. Today's Wednesday. I couldn't sit in a chair properly until Tuesday. I had to cancel like two Uber trips that were guaranteed money. I made this like way in advance. And I couldn't do it. I had to cancel both of them and I got so upset. And I am feeling a lot better now. I can basically bend my knee now. I couldn't bend it at all, period. I couldn't stand up straight. I basically had to walk around on a cane and a walker for three and a half days, four and a half days. So, um, yeah. I've been in a lot of pain. So anyway, I am doing better and I will hopefully will have more videos out soon. But yeah, I was in a lot of pain and I couldn't barely move. So anyway, like I said, I'm much better. I'll hopefully have more videos out soon. And I just want y'all to have an awesome day and that's why I haven't posted it forever. <laughs> I want y'all to have an awesome day and if you like this video, please give a like, comment down below, and then subscribe. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye everybody.